everybody. Welcome to Shazzy's review of female to male uh, cross-dressing. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to masculine yourself. Here are the steps to masculine yourself. Number one, step one. Um, you have to uh, take your, cut your nails with a nail cutter really, really short. Not having not long nails, obviously. Common sense. Step number two. If you have long hair, you have to tie from the back to an absolute minimum. There are three parts to this. A. If you want to keep your long hair, tie a knot and hide from the back. So you, all you do is just tie and just make sure that if there's a knot and that you can just make a knot at the back and, and wear something to cover it. Uh, like so. Part B, you can um, have a short haircut. I go to the barber and uh, just, uh, you know, have a different look. And uh, that's the best way to uh, uh, masculine yourself. And that's the easy way. Just cut your hair off and just have one of those guy looks. Um, I made a video uh, before, um, it's uh, called uh, uh, Reasons and Part 6B uh, for uh, CDSing. I made it uh, for two years ago and uh, it uh, talks about uh, all the females dressing up in male genre. So have a look at that. And uh, Part C of Step 2, um, you can wear a baseball cap or you can wear a hoodie. So, you know, um, I'm going to just show you a hoodie. So, here it is. But before I put that on, so let's say you're the one with the um, long hair. So I'm going to take a net and wear a net over the long hair and the knot at the back and just disguise it like so. And then Take the hoodie and just wear that on your head. Like so. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, step number three. Now, if you're really, really beautiful like me and you want to uh, really look more masculine, what you can do the other look is uh, get a beard. So um, I have one beard that I got from the lo local uh, retail store. Let me just show you. There it is. There it is. Let me just open it. So here is the beard. And all you do is you just put it on like so. And voila, there you have it. For those of you who really had fear of arts and theater, you should try this. It's really fun, straight up, instead of playing uh, video games or alternate ego. Not that I don't like video games, I love video games, but you should try one's alternate ego. <laughs> so, um, I hope you um, are uh, following these steps. Um, uh, step number four. Um, you should wear boy clothes, uh, such as jeans or t-shirts. Uh, step number five, um, about boobs. Um, okay, this is a big topic. I go to the gym uh, wearing my, my boobs, but uh, one thing I learned is to disguise uh, the upper chest. Uh, one has to wear a loose tank top or a loose uh, tracksuit top, straight up. Now the other day I was just going to the gym and I was wearing my boots and basically I always go to the gym wearing my boots. Uh, it's, it's just become a, a natural part of me somehow. But um, I, I realized that uh, when you're in close proximity with, with a lot of people uh, around walking, uh, you know, it's very easy to spot on. So I have uh, um, wear a, a loose top or a loose um, tracksuit top to disguise the uh, boobs or the upper chest 
I've learned to disguise myself in public really well, so I am. Um, it, it really nobody notices the, um, that that uh, you know you have boobs or you don't have boobs. It's just they just take me for being uh, 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 myself as a male, straight up. So, um, well, um, I hope you're going to uh, implement uh, on these steps and uh, try your alternate ego. I'll be making future uh, videos of this uh, series and uh, hopefully uh, uh, we can all try our alternate ego and uh, take it from there. Keep smiling until then and uh, hope to see you next video. Bye bye.